This is a Texas rat snake that I caught around this area over here. And uh, he's about three foot long. He's a little bit smaller than these snakes get to be. I've seen them four or five foot long. He's about three and a half feet long. And they're pretty docile snakes, as you can see. He's not biting me anymore. He did bit me. He did bite me earlier. The first time a snake's drawn blood on me in a long while. But you see the color pattern on his back. It is definitely... Oh. Thought he was going to bite me for a second. But the color pattern on his back is um, distinctive to rat snakes. Because the Texas corn snake, which is the most similar species to the rat snake, is gray or tan in color and is not black or the dark brown or red that the rat snakes are. But this is not a fully grown adult. It's a bit bigger than a, it's about a juvenile, an older juvenile. It's about to be an adult. And these snakes are called rat snakes because they specialize in killing and preying upon rodents. So these are good to have around your house because they eat rats and mice. They also feed a lot on baby birds because it's hard for these to catch adult birds, but they'll climb up in bird nests and they will eat. They'll eat the baby bird and the bird eggs. They eat a lot of eggs. They eat squirrels, baby squirrels. They eat baby rabbits. They eat most anything they can fit in their mouth. They eat other snakes occasionally. And they are a very good climbing species. They're almost arboreal, almost arboreal. They're very good at climbing. They're very nimble in the trees and agile. But these are beautiful snakes. This is a very common species in Texas. They're very fun to catch. And they have a pretty unique survival tactic when they are captured as they roll like an alligator, like that. It's a neat find, a neat little snake to come across. I'm gonna let him go here. Hope my horses don't step on him. Pretty cool species to come across.